Well lads, welcome to Denmark. You've been asking me to play this for a long time, uh, and I thought I finally would. I'd finally give it, and I was tempted to just not. Uh, but Denmark, obviously, uh, also part of the Lions of the North uh, DLC. They got their own little uh, mission tree over here, mainly surrounded this middle part about uh, Scandinavia, uniting Scandinavia, making Norway and Sweden loyal. Uh, this part about rivaling England and conquering England, which I think I'm definitely going to do. Over here, focusing on some trade and the Baltic Sea. It's a pretty standard, nothing too much uh, special going on there. You've got your colonial ambition here, your religious tree here, revoking the privileges, which at the end of it gives you plus 20 maximum uh, uh, absolutism as well as minus 25 subject uh, desire from, from uh, development, which actually sounds really good. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I'm just going to drop that back down by siphoning, by not sorry, siphoning, they come by su supporting loyalists because I don't want them to get any sort of mission. Kalmar Union will cease to exist should Sweden or ever break free and win their independence war. So basically the abilities are an issue. Norway and Sweden are an issue. Lots of issues. We're going to try and face that because historically speaking, the Kalmar Union was not exactly the, the, the most harmonious of, of unions. It was definitely fraught with difficulties. Okay, allying Poland is... A little bit annoying, but that's fine. We'll fight Poland early. Uh, let's just hope that they get a Jaggy Ellen. Because I do not want to be fighting the Poles. Nice! Bavarian Holdings plus eight yearly tax income. I'll take that. Ah, that's annoying. That means that this war is going to become incredibly difficult. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it means we're fighting Poland-Lithuania for no reason apart from Gotland. Uh, we are hideously outnumbered. All right, we're going to have to grab some uh, state privileges here. Grab some indebted to the burgers. We're going to have to grab some uh, mercenaries. Jesus, that was close. All right, shift consolidate, boys. That was incredibly lucky. Now we've got to hit him here. All right, we're going to back up a little bit. I'm just trying to get him to knock down to, to low. He's on medium right now. How close are we to just winning this? Minus 70. Yeah, we're going to be going bankrupt. I'm getting rid of these free Swiss guard. They are too expensive. I like how when uh, Sweden's disloyal, they come up with about 15,000 troops. When they're loyal, they're like, oh, 6,000, that'll do. I mean, that means I can uh, completely expand the missionary. The military mission, so that's nice. Expand the missionary. It's, it's kind of early for me, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, nobility must aid and advise and never rule. All the nobles carry this kingdom. National arrest. Oh, I'll take that. I need the money, so zero one. Okay, Jesus, that was horrible. So to spend a bunch of money basically to, to get hold of Gotland, which itself is not the best province in the world. Finally, okay, so retake Gotland. We either let him rule over Gotland and make Gotland a vassal, or we just expel him. I think I'm gonna expel him to gain the stability. It would be awesome if you could have a percentage. Here's what I want, right? Here's what I want, Paradox. Everyone else who's listening at home, uh, especially in the uh, in, the, in in this North African region, right? Because if the Ottomans had Tunis or Tlemcen or someone as a vassal, then these guys, these guys can still raid in and the Ottomans don't get anything from it. Um, whereas what would happen historically is they would give tribute, right? So they would go and raid and they were under the protection as the Barbary pirates, but then they would give tribute. And I think that should be a mechanic where if you have a vassal who is a pirate republic, everywhere they raid, you get, what, 50% of, uh, of their raiding income? I, it makes them so viable and, like, really desirable, but it makes everyone else hate you as well. Which is, again, it's sort of like letters of mark. I think I think it should be in the game. Okay, our current claims are on uh, Livonia. I can also attack Riga, which would bring in Lubeck, which means I could take Lubeck, which is the ideal. So I think we attack Poland. Buddy, you gotta stop. I don't want another repeat of Lubeck where I'm just, the AI just destroys me. I must admit, I'm very confused as to why Burgundy did not rival anyone important apart from their potential allies. How are you, al I thought he'd take a lot more than that. 96% for all your provinces. That means I should be able to vassalize you. I will ally Poland for a little bit of protection as well. Can't afford to lose the money. And uh, let's try and vassalize. I'm gonna drop my army maintenance as well as my fort maintenance and we need to recover how much money dude i'll wait the five years i'm not marching down to moldavia oh right that'll piece out excellent all right i want you to place your bets now lads comment down below pause the video i want to see how many of you are right who's gonna win this war burgundy or france i think it is burgundy <laughs> yeah they won all right, let's integrate you who are your rivals savoy aragon one that i can really do anything to i will scornfully insult you which to helpfully Boost us a little bit more with him. Negative seven. How much more we got to go? 33 more. We should be able to do it. I remind meant to be doing it with England's rivals. Uh, oh, wait, I think I just need to embargo them. Yeah, that'll do it. If I challenge the English Navy, I get claims. Okay, maybe we do that then. Trade efficiency guy. Trade efficiency diplomatic reputation guy is half the cost. So I'll keep him in. Ally the Burgundians. Let's see if we'll marry them as well. There's integration, which actually lowers our diplomatic reputation apart from it. No, it doesn't. It's removed immediately. Two more loans. And we can get back conquered. Really, Poland? Buddy, come on. Okay, we fight the Livonians. We wipe peace with Riga um, and get them out of the alliance with Poland and then attack them later to then be able to annex uh, Lubeck at a hefty cost. France is occupying Scotland. 
It's not something I've seen before. And rival Muscovy and Scotland. Okay, we attack Livonians and in the mean, after we're waiting for the Riga thing to happen, we'll attack Muscovy. Ideas. I think I'm going to go straight for influence. That's the game we're playing here. Uh, it stacks with our Danish ideas of um, liberty desire in same continent subjects and diplomatic annexation costs minus 10%. They don't actually show off the ideas. They've also got trade efficiency and domestic trade power, naval force limit, mercenary discipline and shock damage, morale of navies plus 15%. Construction costs and global settler increase, and maximum absolutism and autonomy change, as well as 20% manpower at the start with naval tradition and naval engagement. So, uh, fairly mid ideas. They're not like incredible, but they're kind of well rounded. So I'll, I'll give them that. Okay, I've got 28 favors, which means I can bring him in against the uh, Livonians. Teutons. The only issue is that I want this land. Time for a quick ad. I'll use the money to buy a portable snow machine for my husky. Lads, if you're looking for a strategy game that combines fantasy and domination, then look no further than Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. Download it by scanning the QR code on screen or the link in the description. So, what is this game? It's set in the Warhammer Fantasy universe, where you can become the Ever Chosen. You can immerse yourself in the lore, including taking part in battles. So how do you play? You can train an army by collecting unique warlords with a pool of over 30 demons and warriors of chaos. It's crucial to have a powerful army in order to protect your fortresses and destroy your enemies. Once you've got warlords secure, you can take them to the next level by equipping them with special equipment and skills. In order to do this, you'll need to find allies. Together, you can present a united front, giving your citadel increased protection, sped up construction, and more. Your mission is to bring chaos to the world, achieved through devotion to the chaos gods. To help you with this, you can conduct rituals, which will boost your attack and defense. There are daily quests, side missions, and more to help you dominate your enemies and claim the reward. You can engage in the realm battle and have the full experience of the strategy MMO. Thanks to Warhammer Chaos and Conquest for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description to download it today. Ah, Muscovy. Hello, bud. Ah, Jesus, Muscovy. What a horrible peace deal you've done there. What do you mean you wouldn't accept? Yeah, we already control all the provinces. I'm gonna wait for them to do this. Peace will be signed, and then we fight. Retic core. Ingerman land. You're coming. You, you've you missed. You, you've gone the wrong way. Ah, Jesus. We were about to win that siege as well. Why I hate relying on the AI to win wars for you, especially when there's a split. Grab ourselves the free company. Just wish they wouldn't prioritize Raval over, you know, Novgorod. Yes, but to get rid of the bloody rebels, though. Hey, what's your mil tech? Four. Everyone else is four apart from me. I'm on five. Realistically, maybe I don't go influence ideas first. Maybe I do it as the second ideas because I can only integrate them after 50 years. So we'll go for a different idea group. Probably offensive ideas. Why are you killing yourself? It's just whenever the AI is on my side, it's just stupid. It just it's like it's ridiculously dumb. Like right now, Musk is looking six steps into the future. They're moving around. They're like they're over here where I can't get them. They're, they're down here, advancing into Lithuania. They're, they're taking favorable battles. My guys are just throwing some... What the hell? What do you mean Bavarian becomes a new primary culture? What are you on about? So my choices are lose three stability and lose 30 legitimacy and Bavarian will become the uh, primary culture or just gain 10 prestige. I'm not doing that. That's a terrible idea. Who came up with this? What a horrible, horrible plan. All right, minus 21%. We just got to stay in for a little bit. 14%. There we go. Yeah, I'm not doing that i'm not i'm not letting orkney leave i think someone dealt with them because they're retreating there we go 561 days my god why do you have a three-star general doyo it's gonna be hurt isn't it? yeah i'll do it oh be strict i'll take that really poland really i clearly want these lands and you have a mild interest so i can't take those lands okay cool poland does not want it well if he doesn't want it i know who he can give it to me we're getting loads of breached walls which is wonderful no 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 no. Leave me alone. Lithuania, we need some backup here, Chief. Siege is taking so long. Sieges, like, there weren't that many multi-year sieges. Okay, there were there were a couple, but they were not the norm in this period of time, particularly in the earliest, uh, earlier half of the uh, 15th century. Uh, obviously, you got, like, that 80-year one in uh, in Rhodes, but, like, um, and then, obviously, a long one in, in Malta and such, but, like, there, there wasn't really that many that lasted this long. Not where every single fort was, like, multi-year. 721 days. There was 521. I've spent a combined total of four years sieging down two forts. I think I'll just peace out for the ducats, to be honest. I don't really need the land right now. Yeah, in Estonia, but again, I can't really take it. What happened to your... What What happened to your lands? Okay, you still have them. I thought for, for whatever reason that you'd, like, so, like lost without me being there. Oh, well, mainly you expanded... Well, they expanded. I don't think they can last too long. It's an interesting uh, tag in Ireland that's growing there. Can't go too crazy on this vassal side. I can get one more vassal. Um, It's just... That would put me in direct contention with Austria. With Austria? With Poland? Okay, so a couple of things have happened here. I think that Poland is now ridiculously weak. But to be fair, Muscovy is as well. So I'm, I'm okay with how this has just gone down because our main rival uh, just imploded somehow. Also, Moldavia just spends its time getting occupied. Okay, I am going to attack you and call him Burgundy. Integrate with the French. No, you will not. <laughs> 
Not when I'm in the middle of a war and I need your help. Integrate with the French. What do you mean you'll integrate with the French? You just beat the French in a war. Right, do me a favor and just hold on for a little bit longer, yeah? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go over here. <laughs> Nobility will no longer raise any rebels when the land gets seized if their loyalty drops below 30. Uh, let's do that. And then here... So at least three and integral by about 40 and then we get liberty desire from subject development minus 25 percent which is going to be crucial interesting the poles now have oh god one second there's a lot going on so our king's dead the poles have hunger in a personal union okay interesting so Frederick the first been crowned and he's arch king of denmark as well as the entire kalmar union however the personal unions of scandinavia have, a, have to elect frederick as their rightful ruler too okay so he assumes power personal unions which have more than 90 percent will always reject him while those with 10 less than 10 will always elect their ruler so i think we should be fine otherwise you have to give oh you have to give help in i want the rebels to rise up so then i can fight the trade league minus 54 okay and how old are you it could break it could very easily break here. Go ahead and embrace the Renaissance. That'll help us get the next tech before Poland. And then, well, we'll see what we can do from there. I almost took the idea group as I was talking about how useful it would be to have a tech advantage. Very clever, Leif. Very clever. That's 13k. We also have another roughly 10k. So that's 23k. Need at least three company here. All right, lads. Lads. I think they know what I'm going to do and they do not want a part of it. Okay, now this should bait them into going west. Kind of. Okay, we're just going to do it. Danish vassal. I think I should give them a, a, a second to decide if they want to continue the war. Because in this case, he, he probably didn't want to. Novigrod, where are you going, bud? <laughs> Novigrod doesn't want any part of this. No, look, boys. I said supportive, yeah? And that's what you get from separating for the herd. You don't do that. You don't split off. Say, so, look, another guy split off. From the, what? Don't, don't, what? What did I say about splitting off from the herd? Really, Ottomans? Me. Out of everyone else. There is literally a few different nations between us you get to pick. Sweden is angrily pacing backwards and forwards right now. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, no. Oh, they've been trapped. Good job, Novgrod. That's plus 10% siege ability and then plus 20% here. Maybe we'd actually get a siege done. 624 days. That's how long it took me. Really curious as to why when my vassals are put on supportive and they can attach to either of these armies, they've decided, nah, 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 Lubeck. Did not tell you to do independent operations. That 30k comes at me, it's over. Discontent in the Swedish nobility. As far as I'm aware, that then triggers a horrible event called the Stockholm Bloodbath, which means we need to, like, fight a bunch of noble rebels all over the joint. Something tells me it's time for us to peace out. Quick shout out to my boys. All of my vassals not prosecuting this war in the slightest. They're just not interested. I'm not entirely sure why I can't have Altersburg over to uh, Ducal Prussia, but... It is what it is. We'll take that. Four provinces. Danish absolutism. Lovely. Liberty desire from subject development goes down. That's good. And now we can finally get influence ideas. Right. So we need him to have liberty desire less than 10%. We should be able to do pretty easily. What how many troops Muscovy has? Oh, about 37,000. No, he has uh, about 24,000. We should actually be able to ratify them. Create a level two center of trade in Lund. Oh, Ostland will be increased by one. So I shouldn't have spent any money on that. Whoops. Okay, we just need to get him down by about 22%. <laughs> My separatists did their job. So I'll absolutely take a hundred tradition general. Oh, these are six sex. He's beautiful. He's perfect. And no one can say anything against him. Now ratify the union. Legitimacy at least 100 and no subject country has rebels. No subject country, rebel armies at least one. Okay, that's Norwegians. Surely they can deal with that, right? And I'll just spend a bunch of military power bumping up our stability. And I'll spend a bunch of military power strengthening our government. Twice more, so another 200 mil. And we can get that whole ratification going. Not sure where the Norwegians are that I have to be doing this. But we'll give our Skigrun scam. Oh no, Meath is dead. A shame. Oh, Tunis did something. Nice. They are protecting Taflaflat from the Castilians. It was good to see. Meanwhile, the Ottomans are going to go mental. I feel like it's the duty of any nation playing nearby them to new to them early. They never do. Danish Admiralty. Danish. Okay, I'll take that. Na la Naval leader maneuver plus two and Admiral plus minus 10%. I'll take that. Yeah, happily. Right. We sort of let challenging the English Navy go a bit. We need a flagship and we need more or equal heavy ships than England. He has six. Oh god, it's Novgorod. That's that's where the issue is. You wanna you wanna go help? Sweden? Sweden, Sweden you've missed a bit, mate. So someone tell me why I haven't murdered Estonia. Because it feels very unlike me. I'm just all waiting for manpower, so I might as well, right? right. Someone else siege him. Really, lads, can't even do that yourself, can you? Stop it! Sweden, do something useful. Siege. Good lad. Are you defending or are you attacking Muscovy? That's kind of good for us, I suppose. Oh, the flagship's here. Reconquer Estonia. Gives us loads of claims elsewhere. And every owned Estonian province gets Estonian integration. Apparently, we don't need eliminate Novgorod. I mean, eliminates our Harsh word. Now, how about we go around the big scary admiral thing, please? That's not good. Ratify. We can ratify this, though. In 1397, 67 members of the clergy and nobility of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden signed the treaty in Kalmar, which became known as the Kalmar Union. 1486, this year. The King of Denmark gathered all the nobles and clerics of the three kingdoms yet again at Jarland. Today, the Kalmar Union is finally receiving the legal code which converts the members of the union into actual junior partners of Denmark. 
From this day forth, Norway, Sweden will always be ruled by a Danish king. Years for personal union integration, minus 40. Nobility influence, minus 10. Maximum absolutism, plus 10. Diplomatic relations, plus 2. As well as possible advisors, plus 1. And they get the bonuses of a march? Pretty insane. Okay, this isn't good. The Austrians are in as well. So we're liberating your capital, yeah? Dude, I'd love some cannons in here if you have time. You're just sort of sitting there. Oh my god, where are your troops? I mean, you pulled them off of the Siege of Paris, I suppose. I can't believe that. He's won it just as I've arrived. Did you lose your... You lost all your personal union? I'm fighting for a... <sighs> Look, mate, just do us all a favor and peace out, yeah? Why are you like this? Are you on low yet? You're on high. Bro, peace out, dude. I'm, I will leave. But someone's about to be me. My three-star general went in alone, and that got everyone killed. I have no manpower. I gave you Paris. And I gave you forts. And if you don't peace out right now, you have 28% and he's on low. Just peace out. That's on you. Yep, look at that. Now you've got 8% and he's probably not on low. Why do I do this? Why do I defend Burgundy every time when they're just they're just useless? I peaced out. Can you join the HRA? Looks like what he's trying to. So uh, a thought has just occurred to me. Uh, Sweden doesn't like me. Which means that they will uh, <laughs> break off from the Union. So we need to go ahead and fix that. Also, let's uh, let's integrate slaughtered our nobility. Yeah, I can see how that might upset you a little bit. Now, I'm pretty sure what we want to do was provoke this trade conflict. So, Straussund, Stettin, Lübeck, Hamburg, Bremen. We'll embargo all those guys. So, it's you, Straussund, Lübeck, Hamburg. Okay, Hamburg as well. It's defensive, so Burgundy will get involved. Do I, do I have any other sort of alliance prospect? Uh, well, most of Europe will allow me. Maybe we go for Bohemia. I'm really tempted just to not help Burgundy. They're just fine, I'm helping. Why would you attack that? Rounded by idiots. Right, they've got no one to retreat to. Apparently, the city of the Hansa, we can do this now. Till the end of the game, we get trade influence in Germany. Four years worth of trade income. Ostland, Holstein, and Lund. Holstein... Okay, so I just need that to be there. I need 15 mercantilism. About 300 diplo. Your Bohemia, you from white piece? Well, why? Why? You're on a high. What was that about? And you're getting ruined by the Ottomans. A beautiful day indeed. I'll pick up Bremen as well. I'm gonna cement my dominance over the trade. Try to be sneaky and land some troops, and uh, the Portuguese turned up with a navy. So we're just gonna back away now. <laughs> Another couple of treaty ports. Murder the Portuguese for daring to challenge us navally, and we'll take that. So that's the Hansa Trade League, or what was the Hansa Trade League, basically dead. Basically single handedly keeping this stupid nation alive. Ah, oh, cheers, Sweden. Love that from you. Oh, and naval defense building. Okay. Our king died. We're going to proclaim him arch king. Really? Why would you do that? It's been stuck on 25.1 and I don't know why. Now look, they're not disloyal. So I'm not sure why it's not working. Let's see if reloading it worked. Oh, we left the coalition. No, it didn't. Does it have to be over 190? Oh, I think it pauses at war. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why it should pause at war, but apparently it does. I think this one needs a marketplace. There you go. The rest of them have coastal defenses, marketplaces. Yep. Can you get us out of this war, please? Oh, wait. Let me hand off this to you. Can we do it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. So they have to. we have to be at peace. That's kind of dumb. I don't like that. That's probably always the case. And expanding the sound toll. Damn. Two place productions. Wait, what's this? So the provinces gain... Local trade power, possible number of buildings, cost promote, and also hostile fleet, fleet attrition. As long as the province has any kind of naval defense building and any kind of market building. Then just wants me to control the channel. But lads, I think that is where we'll leave for today. So uh, yeah, nice little... A uh, nice little go of it. We've basically secured ourselves uh, the Lubeck trade node, uh, supplied nicely by the Baltic and Novgorod trade nodes. Not really trying too hard on that front. Uh, we control a lot of territory. I know Denmark itself might seem a little small, but when you consider that we control basically the entirety of Northern Europe, it starts to change things. I think next time, if we were to continue this, I'd probably uh, aggressively, now that we have our manpower back, uh, start to pursue the English as well as, uh, well, firstly, Muscovy, to try and make sure they don't get any stronger at all. Uh, we also need to kick the poles down, so we've still got a couple of uh, bits and pieces to do over here. England has allied Lithuania, which is a little bit unfortunate, uh, but we should be able to destroy them navally uh, with everyone's combined navies. Uh, yeah, so if that's something you want to see, please make sure to leave a comment down below, and please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Otherwise, boys, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Remember to use the link in the description to download Warhammer Chaos and Conquest and get my dog some snow. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.